So the 4th of July is coming up. So I wanted to make a healthy, refreshing treat that you could eat while you're sitting outside, drinking your drink and grilling. So I made some red, white, and blue vegan banana ice cream bars. To start, we have to have a crust. Super easy. You're just gonna put some roasted salted cashews in a food processor. And then process it up until they're nice and crushed. Once they're super fine and really crumbly, you wanna add some chopped dates. Crush them up again. Once the dates are broken down, your crumbs are gonna be a lot bigger. And you just wanna add a little bit of water. Once the water is well incorporated, we need to transfer it into a parchment paper lined pan and then press them out into an even layer. Once it's all pressed in and even, you just wanna put it in the freezer while we make the layers. So while your crust is chilling, we have to make the blue layer of the red, white, and blue banana ice cream bars. Super easy, frozen blueberries and some frozen banana coins. Cover it up and start on a really low setting because it takes some time for the fruit to kind of melt and start to blend smooth. Once everything is super smooth and creamy, it's time to start our layers. So we're gonna go grab our crust from the freezer. Super easy. Spread it on the crust and then just spread it out nice and smooth and evenly. Once it's even, just gotta pop it back in the freezer while we make the other layers. So while your blue layer is chilling, we have to make the white layer, which is just a can of chilled coconut cream and a little bit of agave or honey, whatever fits your diet. So then take an electric hand mixer and blend it up until smooth and creamy. Once it's smooth, we gotta go back to that freezer and get those bars. You guessed it, spread it on the blue layer. Now back in the freezer. So now the red layer is Probably like you guessed, frozen strawberries and more frozen banana because it's banana ice cream bars. You're gonna do the same thing. Bananas into the blender, followed by some frozen strawberries. Blend it up, low speed again, stopping to scrape down the sides very often. Time to finish it off by spreading on our strawberry layer for red, white, and blue. Once it's all spread, we have to put it back in the freezer for about four hours until it's totally firm. You got your exercise for the day, you got your banana ice cream bars, and we're ready to slice them. That's it. Just gotta plate them and eat them, and they're perfect for your 4th of July shindig. If you try this recipe, make sure you give this video a like and a thumbs up. And if you try them for your 4th of July shindig, I'd love if you leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Make sure you go to the visit the blog, foodfaithfitness.com to grab the recipe. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.